our God. Every word of worship yes, is yes. to our God. Come on, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, every praise, every praise. is due to our God. To Hallelujah. God. At this time, we'll have the deacons come forth with a scripture and a prayer. Grocery store. As I got a little closer, the door came 
over me. Why? And then I came to myself. I was standing inside. I saw a host of angels. They were stand, standing everywhere. One handed me a basket and said, My child, shop for care. Everything a Christian needs was in the grocery store. And all you could carry, you could come back the next day for more. First, I got some patience. Love was in the same row. Brother God was understanding. You need that everywhere you go. I got a box or two of wisdom, a bag or two of faith. I just couldn't miss Holy Ghost, but it was all over the place. Right. I stopped to get some strength and courage to help me run this race. By then, my back was getting full, but I remembered I needed some grace. I didn't forget salvation, but salvation that was free. So I tried to get enough so that to save both you and me. Then I started up the counter to pay my bill. For I thought I had everything to do my master's will. As I went up the aisle, I saw praying, and I just couldn't put that in. For I knew when I stepped outside, I would run right into sin. Well. Peace and joy was plentiful. They was on the last ship. Mm -hmm. Song and praises was hanging near, so I just helped myself. Mm -hmm. Then I said to the angel, how much do I owe? He just smiled and said, just take them everywhere you go. Yeah. Again, I smiled at him and said, how much do I really owe? He smiled again and said, my child, Jesus paid your bill a long time. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 reason there was a seat of God would like to Extend a warm welcome to our visitors this morning and for the members this year. We praise God for those who have never been in our midst and also for those who have come back. We know that the word of God will inspire you to return and that the world will encourage you this morning. You are welcome to help praise God in spirit and in truth, lifting up the name of Jesus. We thank you and please know you are always welcome here with us at Cedar Grove. We have any birthdays for this one. Okay. I'm the only visitor, so I'm standing already. All right. <laughs> and that's the end of what I have to do. And so Thank you, thank you. Somebody shout out. 
bishop. Let's encourage him with the word. Let's encourage him with the word. Hallelujah. Church, say amen. Amen. Come on, let us say amen again. Amen. Try it one more time. Let us say amen one more time. Amen. The Lord is good, isn't he? All the time. And all the time. God is good. Yes. Which says and suggests there's never been a time to where God has not been good to us. Amen. And because he is good, we continue to give his love and praise, the glory yes. and the honor yes. for the things that he has done. Yes. Today, the month of May, rather, well, marks Mental Health Awareness Month. All right. Which suggests that even the world understands that the mind yeah. goes through situations. Amen. Amen. And if the world understands that, mm -hmm. the church should be able to identify yes, you know, yes. and comprehend the fact that our minds go through things. Amen. Can somebody just say amen? amen? Excuse me, when you go through a situation, it, it really don't hurt your heart, it bothers your mind. Right. Can somebody just say amen? amen. amen. And so uh, this month, I just want to, as the Lord gives me permission to Encourage the mind. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 30. I want to thank all of the deacons, the ministers, the singers, the musicians, the members. I want to thank God for everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Somebody say, Bishop, thank God for you. He thanks God for you. Amen. Tell somebody he thanks God for you. First out of 30. I'm going to go all the way down to verse number six for the sake of time. And David was greatly distressed. Greatly distressed. For the people, for the people. Began to talk about stoning him mm -hmm. because the soul of the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord, mm -hmm. his God. Did you see the text? David encouraged himself mm -mm. in the Lord his God. Yes, yes, yes. For 10 minutes, if the Holy Spirit does the same, we're talking about discouraged for what? Discouraged for what? Tell the enemy, discouraged for what? Discouraged for what? Yeah, discouraged for what? You may be seated. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Dove. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh again on oh, this your people. That the people will see less of me, but we are all of you. Let me be quiet that you may speak. Mm -hmm. Let me sit down that you may stand up. Mm -hmm. Hide me behind the cross. Beneath the dripping of your blood. Mm -hmm. That the people will not leave the same way they came in. Amen. We ask it in Jesus' name. Let us all say amen. Amen. Say it again. Discouraged for what? Discouraged. 
I want you to say with a little boldness in your heart, discouraged for what? Brothers and sisters, there's a story told of a time that the devil, good to see Dr. West, good to have seen Bishop Wallace in the house today. Amen, amen. Of a time that the devil decided to have a yard sale. All right. He did it because he wanted to clear out some of his old devices <laughs> to make room for new tricks. After he set up his items, a man watched his drop by to see what the devil had for sale. Amen. Arranged on a long table were all the tricks and devices of his hellish treasures. Each tool that the devil was selling had a high price tag on it. In one corner, watch this, uh, was a shiny tool labeled anger. And that anger sold for $250. Next to it was uh, another curved tool called the envy. It was selling for $380. Criticism was on the table. Criticism was sold for five hundred dollars. Jealousy, I thought y'all was gonna walk with me, was on the table, and jealousy it was sold for six hundred and thirty dollars. Watch this out of the other corner of his eye. The man spotted a beaten up tool that had no price tag on it. Curious is the man, so curious he asked the devil, he said, why does this tool don't have a price on it? The devil said, this tool don't have a price on it because this tool unto me is a priceless tool. He said, I cannot get rid of this tool. And the man asked him, he said, what tool is it that is priceless? And the devil said, it is the tool of discouragement. He said, I cannot sell this tool of discouragement simply because I use it. I wish I had a witness here. I use it every day. I use it from Monday through Monday. I use it every day of the week. I use it 365 days of the year. I use this tool. What do I use it for? I use it to antagonize the anointed. I use it to make saints sad. I use it to make them fold up their faith. I use it uh, so they can uh, have stress and strain. I use it uh, to burden uh, the believers. I use it uh, to conquer the committed. I use it uh, discouragement to silence uh, the soldiers. I use it uh, for them to walk uh, away from their visions. Uh, I use it uh, for them to drop their dreams, uh, to defeat uh, their devotion, uh, to watch this, uh, to eradicate uh, the redeemed, to mess up uh, marriages, uh, to manipulate ministries, uh, and in other words, uh, the enemy said, uh, I cannot use uh, this tool uh, simply because uh, this tool uh, is very uh, important to me. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I use uh, the tool uh, of discouragement uh, to kill, uh, steal, uh, and destroy. Uh, I use uh, this tool uh, of discouragement to go you uh, in the earth uh, seeking whom I may devour. Uh, is there anybody up in here? Uh, you know what discouragement is. Uh, you ought to slip up your hand uh, and let the enemy know uh, I'm not afraid uh, of 
ignorant of your devices. Uh, I know what you're doing. Uh, I know how. Uh, you're trying to get me off my game. Uh, is there anybody here? Uh, can you slip up your Baptist hand uh, and let the enemy know? Uh, I know what you're doing. Uh, but I'm smarter than a fifth grader. Uh, you ought to open up your mouth uh, and give God the glory. Uh, you ought to open up your mouth uh, and give God the praise uh, and let the enemy know uh, you mess with the wrong person. Uh, ain't the Lord all right? Uh, can you shout unto God uh, and say, Lord, uh, I need a spirit uh, of encouragement. Uh, is there anybody here uh, every once in a while? Uh, your spirit, uh, it will get discouraged. Uh, who am I talking to? Uh, every once in a while, uh, you're going to feel down. Uh, every once in a while, uh, you're going to feel defeated. Uh, every once in a while, uh, you're going to be depressed. Uh, every once in a while, uh, you're going to go through the storm and the rain. Uh, every once in a while, uh, you're going to go through this. Uh, you're going to go through that. Uh, but you've got to learn uh, how to be like David. Uh, David opened up his mouth uh, and he encouraged himself. Uh, you can't wait for everybody uh, to pick you up. Uh, you can't wait for everybody uh, to talk good about you. Uh, but every once in a while, uh, you've got to encourage yourself. Uh, who am I talking to? Uh, you've got to say something good uh, about yourself. Uh, you've got to tell yourself, uh, I can do all things uh, through Christ uh, who strengthens me. Uh, you've got to tell yourself uh, that no weapon uh, that is formed against me, uh, it ain't going to prosper, uh, and it ain't going to work. Uh, every once in a while, uh, you got to tell yourself uh, that the Lord is my shepherd, uh, and I shall not walk. Uh, every once in a while, uh, you got to let the enemy know, uh, surely uh, goodness and mercy uh, shall follow me uh, all the days of my life. Uh, can you shout it? Yes! You ought to open your mouth uh, and give God the glory uh, and let the enemy uh, say, I am encouraged. Uh, shall I am encouraged uh, to keep on praising God. Uh, I am encouraged uh, to keep on keeping on. Uh, I am encouraged uh, to keep on coming to church. Uh, I am encouraged uh, to keep on preaching His word. Uh, shall He hear? You ought to give God the glory. Uh, you ought to give God the praise. Uh, you ought to open up your mouth uh, and give God the glory. Uh, for the Lord is good. Uh, His mercy is everlasting. Uh, His truth endures uh, to all generations. Uh, open up your mouth. Uh, stand on your feet. Uh, give God some praise. Uh, let the enemy know. Uh, I will bless the Lord uh, at all times, uh, and His praise uh, is going to be in my mouth. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but when I think uh, of the goodness of the Lord uh, and all He's done uh, for me, uh, my soul uh, cries hallelujah. Uh, can I get you to shout? Uh, Hallelujah, uh, it's the highest praise, uh, hallelujah, uh, glory, glory, uh, hallelujah, uh, since I laid uh, my burdens down, uh, friends don't treat me uh, like they used to, uh, since I laid uh, my burdens down, uh, I feel better, uh, so much better, uh, since I laid
Sidah Abu Ghibis, we're done. We're done. Yes, sir. Discouraged for what? Yeah. Let me say again, discouraged for what? Discouraged for what? No, say it like this, discouraged for what? Discouraged for what? Listen, David, in this text, has many reasons yeah. to be discouraged. Uh -huh. Life mm -hmm. comes yeah. with discouragement. Yes, I don't care how good you are. Amen. How much Bible you know. Hallelujah. Life comes with discouragement. Amen. Sometimes you are. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Other times you're down. Yeah. Jesus said, in this world, yeah. you're going to have tribulations. Yes. Yeah. David was discouraged. But I want to tell you, first thing, he was honest. Yes. Yes. Everybody say he was honest. honest. I need you to lift your hand and say, there's times, Dr. West, even. As the man of God. Amen. I get discouraged. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Who am I talking to? As a child of God. Yes. Because yes. you see my smile outwardly. Mm -hmm. You don't know my struggle inwardly. Amen. Amen. You see me on Sunday. Yeah. But how was my week? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have no idea. Amen. We all go through discouragement. Uh -huh. David had said, you know, I, I need to be honest. I need to be honest with God. Yeah. About my discouragement. In other words, I need to respond yes. to discouragement. I gotta respond to it. Don't, don't act like it's not there. Yeah. It's there. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Discouragement is there. It comes to all of us. Ignoring it does not make it go away. Amen. Amen. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Secondly, when you're going through discouragement, you got to reevaluate your friends. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Those that was close to David in the text. Watch this. The people spoke of stoning David. Those that walked with him. Those that were around him. So we go throw stones at the leader. I tell this to anybody that if you don't want nobody throwing stones, don't take leadership. Amen. Amen. Yeah. The higher up you go, Bishop Thomas, the more stones. The more anointed you are, yes. the more stones. Yes. The more that God trusts you with, yes. Yes. the more stones. It wasn't until I started doing what God wanted me to do to where people wanted to talk about me. Amen. Amen. And I said, God, they, they talking. God said, let them talk. Yeah. yeah. Let them talk. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Because yeah. they're talking to make you tougher. Yeah. Yeah. They get a little clicks uh -huh. and say all kind of matter against you. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus said, be a good cheer. Yes, sir. I've overcome the world. So you got to respond, you guys, to discouragement. You got to reevaluate who you connected to. Yes, yes. Because you mean to tell me that we together when things are good, mm. but when things are not good, yes. we want to balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to jump off the ship? Mm. I'll need you when the when, when the when the sea mm. is calm. Amen. To understand that when you are discouraged, you don't have to remain discouraged. Amen. Amen. 
remain in discouraged mind, that's a choice. You gotta make up your own mind. I will not be discouraged. Yeah, yeah. Can you say that today? I will not. I will not. Don't say it like you mean. I will not be discouraged. I will not be discouraged. Some of y'all gonna mean the same way. I will not be discouraged. I will not be discouraged. And why should I be discouraged when I have a God who's on my side? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I have a God who said I'll never leave you. Yeah. Neither will I forsake you. Yeah. Discouraged for what? When James said, Count it all joy. Uh -huh. When you fall into diverse temptation. Yes. Discouraged for what? When the text says, We may endure for a night, but joy yes. Yes. comes in the morning. Yes. Discouraged for what? When living, he loved me. Yeah. Dying, he saved me. Yes, yes. Buried, he carried yes, yes. my sins far away. Yes. Rising, he did what justified, freeing me forever. But one of these glorious days, yes. Yes. can I get a witness right there? Yeah. He's coming yes. back again. Come on, I'm going to clap your hands and give God praise. The Lord is good. Discouraged for what? Then you go home. What did he talk about? He talked about discouraged for what? Lift your head up, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong, the Lord mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Come on, clap your hands, y'all. Let's. Let's keep going down the road.